Bảo Trân xin kính chào quý khán giả đến với Đài Little Sài Gòn TV và chương trình What's Up. Kính thưa quý vị một lần nữa, Bảo Trân đã trở lại với Hollywood và tối hôm nay là đêm ra mắt của phim rất là nổi tiếng mang tên là Crazy Rich Asians. Xin mời quý vị xem các hình ảnh sau đây. really lucky. <laughs> I mean, this uh, I never would have dreamed this was true. This would come true. So, um, and to add to it, to boot, to be with such a talented cast who I love so much, led by such a great director, it's it's the privilege of a lifetime. People are going to love the fact that it's it's story that comes first. You know, we, we, we've been rooting for this Asianist, but John has done a phenomenal job in including everybody, especially with the themes that run true. It's all about love. That's what we've got to bring back to the story. Story time, that's the power. It's a feel good movie. Yeah. It's like a fairy tale, you know. And and at the end of the day, it's about love. It's about family and love. I'll be dreaming. 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 Oh my gosh, this is like the one of the best moments of my life. Oh my gosh, I've like been such a big fan of you oh, for thank you. ever since. Thank please. you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. So how like how was it working on the film? Uh, incredible. It's like a family. You know, these the, these are very talented actors. We have a talented uh, producing and directing team, obviously John. And uh, it was it was yeah. honestly it felt yeah, it didn't feel Adam, like work. Singapore. How it just are felt you? like we just how are you? I am came good. to went to what Singapore like and played. In Singapore. So, um, what was your favorite scene? Um, my favorite scene, probably the wedding. The wedding, the wedding is, is just cool. I've never seen a wedding like this. I mean, it's like, it's like wedding on steroids. It's, it's amazing. You must know a lot of crazy rich Asians, though. Do I? I don't know if I do. I mean, when you're, when, when, when you go to different parts of the country, uh, it's it, it's it's really amazing to see because at the end of the day, whether it's the money or you know the opulence, you know, everyone has uh, these things that are relatable with their issues and problems. So what you're going to see in the film there, it's going to find you're going to find it to be very relatable outside of being rich and being crazy. It feels great. It feels so special. Like and one of the best parts of the movie, of course, it's a cultural experience and phenomenon in a way that's much bigger than us individually. But if I make it selfish for a second, the main the main thing that I can take away from this movie is all these great friends I made. Like honestly, we still have a WhatsApp group, 120 people that we still chat. Whenever Remy comes comes in from Australia, Ronnie comes in from New York, we all hang out and we all love karaoke and eating. You know what I mean? So, so, so it's been a great experience to find some lifelong friends for me. I think I intellectualized it. I understood that on paper, yes, it's the first movie in 25 years since Joy Luck Club that features a full Asian cast. But when you emotionally get connected to it, and then when you're actually seeing this actually happening, materializing. And it's actually a great movie. It feels great. From paper to a book to a best-selling book to all the way now, like a big film. How do you feel? I feel on top of the world. This is a dr dream come true. Exactly. It really is. I didn't even think it would get published. So everything since then has been complete gravy. Hi there. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm okay. Yeah. So uh, I know you're really busy with the Daily Show and like with this movie. Can you tell us a little bit about what your schedule was like? Uh, I'm never too busy to make money. <laughs> you can always find time to make money. That's why it's about making money. Yeah. Are you, are you a crazy rich Asian already? Um, How close are you? I, in, let, let's just say that you can never have enough money. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So no, I'm very poor is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay, okay. And if anyone here could lend me 20 bucks, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I need to get a cab home after this. Thank you. So your character in the movie is, yeah. uh, let's say, very lovable? Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, he's so, lovable his own way, yeah. Yeah, so he's... He's a huge piece of <laughs> He's very materialistic, he's very ambitious, he hates everyone around him, a lot of it stems from insecurities, all right? Are you like that? Are you like that? Yeah, of course, yeah, I'm 100% like I, I didn't even have to act, I just go on stage and I, I stepped in front of the camera, I was like, I didn't even read the script, I just did my <laughs> And it made it in the movie, because I am the character, boom. That's right. Yeah. All right, 
So can you say, can you invite the audience at Little Saigon TV to come and watch? This is Little Saigon, dude. My wife is Vietnamese. Really? What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay. What? I was gonna say, do you ever go to come to Little Saigon? I'm trying to bring my in-laws there. Oh! I know I've been to Little Saigon. I've been to Vietnam, man. All parts of it. North, South, Hoi An. The Ban Mi in Hoi An, the Anthi boy they make famous, represent. That's awesome. Uh, yes, it, it's overwhelming and so important. Like John said, it's not a movie, it's a movement. So it's just really important because I feel that Asians are not represented enough in Hollywood or for that matter anywhere in the world. Um, yeah, so it's really important that and so amazing that this film actually came out after 25 years. I think despite the fact that it's fun with Crazy Rich Asians, I think what matters is uh, family and love and uh, what's really, really important. Not a yacht or the next big party, but really relations, people who love you, people to love. Yeah. Hi there, you look gorgeous tonight and you really dress your part for your character. I'm actually, you know, a very subdued kitty pong today. <laughs> She's like, you know, she's, 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 she doesn't want to steal the limelight from, any, from anybody today. So she's trying oh, to be this casual. Is, this kid is <laughs> your... Casual. Okay. Casual. <laughs> All right. So um, how does it feel to be a part of such a, you know, popular movie? Definitely. It's an it's, it's amazing experience. And it's just amazing to be part of history because, you know, this is going to pave the way for more Asian-centric stories to be told. And I really hope that everyone will actually go out there and buy a ticket to be part of this movement to make this... A reality, yeah. Okay, so Jacqueline Ling is part of the wealthy society, and yet she's not. Um, she's described in the book as the Catherine Deneuve of Asia, and to me that's really something special, because she represents a cultural icon of a very special uh, era with an Asian flavor. Um, so being on the fringe, she needs to work her way back. Uh, to have a strong footing in that society and she does that through her daughter. She has a lot of hope that Amanda will finally get her claws onto Lake Young. Uh, yeah, she's a good mom. Uh, the green carpet is surreal, surreal. Um, I've been telling everybody, you know, like 20 years ago as a young girl, I came here with my family and we all took pictures at a Chinese theater and it's like, oh my God, I'm in Hollywood. And right now I'm really here in Hollywood. So I'm really excited and very happy to be here, especially representing Singapore. Um, we're just like a couple of days away from our national day. So, you know, we're really excited to be representing the country here. Well, you know, this movie is going to be a big game changer in terms of Asian representation on screen. So if you just come and give a little, show a little love, I think it would mean a lot um, in terms of, you know, walking the talk and saying, hey, we, we, we can tell universal stories of family and love and honor and courage. And, and of course, it is a very funny, uh, lovely film with a good heart. And I think audiences, whatever ethnicity you are, could follow Vâng thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là những phỏng vấn rất là đặc biệt cùng với các ngôi sao diễn viên của phim Crazy Rich Asians. Hy vọng quý vị có thể bỏ ra một chút thời gian để đến xem rạp cine xem phim này để ủng hộ phim này có thể là trong tương lai sẽ có thêm những phim cho người Á Châu nữa. Cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi Đài Little Sài Gòn TV với chương trình What's Up cùng với Sophie Bảo Trân. Nick you're dating is Nick Young. Yeah, you guys know them or something? Hells yeah. The Youngs are like royalty. Did you not know? Does she not know? You ready for this? Yeah. Have you prepped Rachel to face the wolves? I met a girl, I fell in love, and I want to marry her. It's not that simple. I know you're not what Nick needs. Rachel! Rachel! Because I'm not rich? You got a nasty, you got nastier. Crazy Rich Asians.